George Bricks, living by the brick and dying by the brick. Hey everybody, George Bricks here with another YouTube update. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second set that I ever bought. It's the DC Comics Superheroes Batman Tumblr. It is set number six, or sorry, seven six zero two three, and consists of eighteen hundred and sixty nine pieces. I really enjoyed this set. It's got so many details: the big rubber tires, the nice big rims, the inside is fully detailed. The outer shell has so many detachable parts; it's crazy. Everything is movable and so on. It also comes with uh, the classic Heath Ledger Joker uh, minifigure and the Christian Bale Batman minifigure. Um, it measures about 15, sorry, 5 inches high, 15 inches long, and 9 inches wide. So it's pretty big. And everything. Everything is movable, like I was saying, like all the tail fins and uh, the cockpit opens right up so you can actually take these right out. That's pretty cool. Also, I mean, it's got lots of little details like the window wipers, all the guns and everything on the side. Just the amount of, of detail that went into this thing is simply amazing. I also like how it's uh, just like most of the Ultimate Collector's Edition Star Wars sets. It comes with the uh, the stats card for the vehicle, like the Wayne Industries Applied Sciences Division. So it's got the weight 2.5 tons, 200 miles per hour, 2.9 seconds to... to uh, Accelerate there comes with the actual lengths of the vehicle and jet fuel and everything like that pretty cool Let's take a let's take a closer look at it. I'm just gonna move this here, and we'll just spin it around for us With all the removable parts it is quite fragile That's okay. It's mostly for display anyway As I was saying look at these big rubber tires it comes with the suspension details is awesome. Just amazing. Here's a, these fins all move. Like I was saying though, it is quite fragile. It's not really for play, more display. If you start moving this thing around or playing with it, it will fall apart quite easily. It happened to me a couple of times while I've been moving it around. Yeah, some more movable parts, all these flaps. Yeah. Open the cockpit up here. Let's take a look inside there. So it's got really cool insides and really cool windscreens as well. The seats and the steering wheel, just amazing. I really like how they made the seats. Let's take a look at the dash too. See in here it's got like the accelerator. All sorts of cool stickers and everything in the dash. Just a really high detail intense Lego set. This is the second, like I was saying, it's the second set I ever bought. Really happy I bought it. It is now retired, so you're not going to be able to get it from the Lego store or Toys R Us or anything like that. You're going to have to get it on eBay or the internet somewhere. Just going to start doing these YouTube videos. I'm going to start doing reviews and of all the sets that I currently own in the order that I bought them because believe it or not I memorized the order that we bought them pretty cool also this thing was getting dusty so I just whipped out this little paintbrush dusted away the brush or the all the dust before we 
started filming here. I find these paint brushes work really good. So yeah, like I was saying, we're just going to go through all my sets set by set. It's a good way to take a close look at some of the best LEGO sets uh, within a couple of minutes rather than having to suffer through long review videos. But uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the views. Keep calm and build on. Thanks, guys.